Hi, good morning. I'm Abhi from IMS Gate Academy. Uh, today we have with us Teep. Right? Teep has uh, secured All India Rank 15, right? And he's from Surat. So let's welcome Teep. Okay. Congratulations Hi. on securing 15 rank. You must be very happy, right? Uh, thank you so much, Avneet. Uh, it's been an exhilarating experience for me. So before going forward, I just wanted to understand your uh, family background and your educational background so that right, it will be better for the students who connect with you. Right? All right. Um, my name is Steve Flodia and I am from Jamnaga, Gujarat. Uh, my father is a mechanical engineer and my mother is a homemaker. And uh, I am currently studying in final year mechanical engineering at uh, SVNIT Surat. Okay. So how, how this journey started? When did you decide to uh, do gay right gate and for what regions? Um, actually, while I was in second year, that is when the pandemic struck, uh, I wasn't planning on giving the exam. Like uh, I thought that, yeah, maybe I'll just take a job and do something. But uh, the pandemic changed a lot of things. Uh, everyone was at home and people had an a lot of spare time with them so during the first gate i like a senior just uh, suggested me that even if you don't want to prepare just go and give the exam you'll like it so i went and i attempted the exam and it was a, a nice experience for me and uh, it felt that yeah i really can do this it's not that much of a deal so i thought yeah let's start studying so it mostly came around uh, Feb 21. Okay. That was uh, post the first gate. Okay. So what do you suggest? How much time do you feel is required to prepare for gate and get into the top 100 or maybe top 200? Right? Um, for uh, someone who is paying attention to college, it's uh, just 10 to 11 months, not more than that. And what about the students who are in the second year now and who are targeting gate 23 or 24 both? Right. So now you have come in as now you have you, you are allowed to write gate is also in third year along with yeah. final year. Right? Yeah. So uh, if someone is starting early, it's all the more better. Uh, it's uh, pretty easy for them that they can give one year as a test time that you do the subjects that only you like and give the gate and the second time when you are attempting you will know all those subjects and you can focus on the ones that you are weak in it gives you a lot of time to do it and it it is easy for motivation and consistency so by writing you must strategize things right so different people have different way of practicing revisions right what yeah. do you think there is there there is any ideal way of uh, preparing or strategizing the, the process um, yeah, I do think there is one. Uh, like the main strategy here is to take lessons from previous gate toppers or just previous gate uh, uh, participants. Uh, they'll tell you that uh, 15 marks is general aptitude, 15 marks is mathematics, 15 marks is strength of materials. So you already know the weightage of each subject and you know which subjects to focus more on. Yes. So it is uh, a strategy where you have to focus on the higher mark subjects, but in the end, you shouldn't leave out those uh, uh, small subjects like fluids, industrial, they have six, seven, eight marks, but they are pretty easy. You just need to know one formula and you'll know the whole answer. So my strategy for studying was that I'll finish all the subjects in a uh, six to eight months and I'll be remaining, I'll have a three to four months for revision. Then uh, for me, I would suggest everyone to solve all the previous year questions. Last 20 year gate, uh, all the uh, previous year questions are available in the so website. Previous questions, how many years normally uh, is recommended? 10 years, 15 years, is it what you mean? Uh, 15 to 20 years questions are uh, uh, usually, sorry, let's just repeat this again. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
15 to 20 year questions are usually given in all the uh, books. The book that was given by IMS, it had uh, about 15 years question. So, so we, that's uh, uh, our student, right? So you had to fit for correspondence program premium with IMS DT Academy, right? Yeah. How does this help you uh, in your examinations? Um, the main thing that it did is it gave me a, a single source. Uh, for those who are self-studying, it's a good thing, but uh, they might have to struggle with the resources. Uh, you know, I I may have a resource for mathematics because it is one of the common subjects in all the branches, but having resources for, for uh, uh, fluids or uh, for a lesser available subject, they have to struggle for it. They have to look online. They have to find books. Studying from books is a uh, very unconventional method for gate and I would su suggest against it. Books in the sense, the theory, theory books. So what I hear from people that it's equally important to uh, uh, go for test series, right? Yeah. After October normally, so after September, October, you should start focusing more on test series and all. So how important is that test series for all the students who are writing gate exam? I, I mean, any test series. I think it's not just the test series, like everyone suggests that uh, you should give all the full length tests and after that uh, the extra tests that are coming, but uh, people should first focus on subject wise tests. Okay. Full length tests are just to uh, give you a sense of time management during the exam that are you able to finish the, the paper in three hours or are you leaving out some questions that you might have solved. But if you don't know how to solve a question for a subject, you won't be actually doing anything in a test series. So I would suggest they should give chapter tests and subject tests with their subjects going on. That is during the whole course of studying. It's normally said that it's also important what not to attempt and what not to practice. Right. So once once you start the preparation, you cover all your basics, right? And then by the reason you take certain subjects which you are strong you you need you either take five to six core subjects and then engineering mathematics and general aptitude right so how important is that in fact maths and general aptitude there's no option you have to cover all the topics mm. is it uh, necessary mandatory to have uh, to cover all the topics uh, again i mean during revision um i wouldn't suggest leaving out a whole subject but uh, yeah, I can suggest that uh, there are some topics that are not that easy to learn. Like uh, if you are giving uh, one topic, one week of study time and at the end, uh, there is a minute probability that just one or two mark question will come and you can skip that and do something that is uh, easier to study and has more weightage in the exam. So what's your plan ahead? Now you have, you have uh, secured good rank, right? So you will have all the option possible option that the student can get out of the examination. So right. what is what are your plans for future? Um, like this is something that I decided while I was in my tenth standard. Okay. Uh, I wanted to join DRDO okay. since the beginning. Like uh, I uh, I have uh, researched all the exams that are required for it or uh, what all I can do. And being an NIT student, it is pretty uh, opportunative, I would say, that I, I can uh, go to DRDO and uh, GATE has also made it easier for me. So this is what you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, any message that you want to uh, share with uh, the students who are in the second year or third year and who are targeting GATE 23 or GATE 24? Uh, a lot of times people think that uh, if you have less marks, then there's no need to apply because they won't take you. But the sole thing you have to do is go and apply. The worst they can do is say no. Other people will be thinking like you and they won't apply and that is why you will get selected. So, so when we say that somebody scores, uh, what is the difference between uh, somebody who is targeting uh, who is targeting top 100 or top, top 50, right? right? It's not very, uh, uh, you cannot judge exactly how much marks you are going to get, right? Before right. writing the gate examination. What is the difference here? There are people who uh, target, who try to be in top 100, 
but they just do, don't manage to get it normally. So what is the difference between getting top 100, top 200 and or to top 300? So just very one or two questions that right, differentiate uh, the ranks. Yeah. Uh, the major difference is uh, presence of mind during the exam. Uh, I would say that a lot of people sitting beside me might have been much better than me, but uh, due to some previous question that they couldn't solve, they uh, spent too much time on it and then they couldn't solve the rest of the easier questions, which they could have solved and even scored better than me. So it's the presence of mind during the exam that makes a difference between uh, 300 rank and uh, less than 100 rank. So when we talk about presence of mind, it also means that which all questions not we have to attempt and which not to attempt, right? So we have now MCQ, right? So one wrong attempt can cost you ranks. Yeah. Um, uh, about uh, right, uh, exam strategies, I would say that Never leave a numerical answer type question and MSQ question. Even if you don't know an answer, write a whole number, write a random whole number. There are chances that you might get it correct because a numerical answer type lets answer is between 100 and 105. And you did something without knowing the actual formula. There is a chance you might do 102, 103, you will write 100. Then for MSQ, Usually there are uh, two answers, like that's the most probable one. You have to learn from the previous questions. Now, I didn't have the previous question because uh, it started in 2021, year 21, and uh, they didn't have any MSQs that time. But uh, for the upcoming students, they will have something to look to. Um, and for MCQs, I would suggest they should be conservative, like take very less risks. In my paper, I got only two wrong MCQs. So it was a pleasure having you feel. I, if you want to share anything else that you feel is important for students preparing for GATE, uh, please go on. Um, yeah, I'd like to motivate everyone to prepare for GATE, not just uh, like scoring a less than 100 rank because uh, if you study GATE, you get opportunities in masters, you get opportunity in PSU, you get opportunity for college placement. It is a really good way to get your concepts clear so that even in a job interview that is during placement, it will be very helpful because all the job interviews, they focus on core thermodynamics, fluids, strength of materials. So it is, it, there is no loss in studying for GATE. Thank you. So it was nice talking to you, right? All the rest of your career. Thank you so much.